Hi guys, um, we're going to look at 1118, which is today's assignment. So let's go ahead and click on it. And it's a little different. It isn't our um, normal sort of book work. It's something that's just a little different to give us something a little more fun of an activity. It's um, pretty simple. It's just combining some of the things that we've already learned. Um, so it says 1118. You should have nine slides and nine slides only when you turn this in. Um, at the bottom of each slide, you're going to write a weather expression in Espanol. Then you're going to search for an, um, oh, I need to fix that, an image or images that obviously describe the, that weather expression. Make sure you pick weather expressions that have obvious images to find, um, which will kind of figure that out as you're going through your weather expressions. Um, once you've written out your weather expression and expressions and inserted your images, create a twisted wave audio for each slide saying what each weather expression is in Espanol. So I have two things here for you. One's an example slide deck. Um, it says parentheses, you'll want to open me to see what it is I'm looking for. That's the one that's in orange. And then it says yours to open and make a copy and keep in your Spanish folder in your Google slot in your Google Drive parentheses and work on and turn in. So the green one is the one that go comes back to me and the um, the orange one is the one that you look at and um, like you don't keep. I mean. Yeah, you just look at it and you're like, oh, this is what Senorita Vance is looking for. And the green one is like, that's the one that I keep and then turn in. Okay, so let's look at our rubric real quick. It says nine weather expressions writing, wrote weather expressions in complete sentences with correct spelling, nine weather scenes images, um, inserted easy to interpret weather images, cannot be mistaken for other types of weather. So if you give me like two things that look like if you use like the same two images for two things or things that could be easily mistaken for one another. Um, like, you know, just keep that in mind when you're picking your images. Okay. Make sure they're obviously different from each other. All right. Um, and then nine weather expressions, speaking spoke weather expressions in complete sentences with correct pronunciation. Okay. So this would behoove you to um, make sure that you know what you're saying um, so you might head on over to the Quizlet and practice just a couple of them. Remember things like H's are silent like ninjas and just little things like that. So, um, well, let's go ahead and look at what we've got here, okay? Okay, so when you click on the example slide deck, it's going to give you this. It's going to look a little different because this belongs to me. Okay, so it's labeled Las Cuatro Estaciones. Now, if we go back and look at this, you are not doing the Cuatro Estaciones. You're doing weather. I did the Cuatro Estaciones because I wanted to give you something complete and something to look at. Okay, so this is going to say when you click on this, would you like to make a copy of weather images plus expressions? You're going to hit make a copy. Okay. And this is what you're going to copy. Hey, that's me. Um, it says, remember to delete this slide before you turn it in. Um, it says, put your weather image in the big box. Type out your weather expression in the small box. Add your twisted wave audio down here as well. Okay. So if you can see, I've got, let's move me um nine slides that are empty for you and then um it once you it says remember to delete this slide before you turn it in so i've got 10 slides total and then once you delete this we will have it should say you should have nine slides and nine slides only when you turn this in so 10 minus 1 equals 9. math isn't super tough okay i mean sometimes it's tough but not super tough Let's look at our example slide deck. Here I did our four seasons. So you can see how these go together. I've got my weather image in the big box. That's what I'll have. I didn't do weather, I did seasons for you guys. Um, so image and then complete sentence 
and then twisted wave. So image, complete sentence, twisted wave. So here's a picture. Well, we'll start at the beginning. Here's a picture right here. It says SL in Bierno, and then here's what I did. SL in Bierno. Okay. Oh, S -L yeah, no, you don't need to hear that more than once. Um, so you can see, here's my picture. It's obviously, obviously El Invierno. I wrote a sentence saying that it was El Invierno. And then I said that it was El Invierno. Okay. And then. Es la primavera. Yep. And then. Es el otoño. Uh, yep. And then. Es el verano. I feel like these kind of look like a Pinterest mood board or something. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to do the same, but you're going to do it for weather. And then you're going to delete this slide. So that way you have only nine slides to turn in. And it's going to be great. It shouldn't take super long. Remember to use your twisted wave. Remember how we do this. We do new document. Well, there I am. Hi. You hit record. When you're done recording, you hit the stop button. And then you come up here to file, send to Google Drive. You title it. You change it from MP3 to wave. You send it to your Google Drive. And then whatever title it is, is there. And then I don't know where I went, but I'm somewhere. When you're ready to, oh, there I am. When you're ready to insert it, okay, you go to insert. We're inserting audio. And then you can see example slide. That's what's right there on my weather images. You have verano, primavera, invierno. Example slide again. Uh, otoño that I misspelled. Yeah, pretty, pretty um, pleased with that. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I think this will be great. Um, like I said, the images should be easy. The writing should be easy. Um, just make sure you follow all of my um, needs for making a complete sentence. Okay, guys? All right. I love you all, and this should be interesting and good to see. So let me know if you have any questions. All right. Love you guys. Bye.